Hello everyone, welcome to Boiler Breakdowns, where we break down game film of current and former Purdue athletes. Today, we got David Bell. Pleasure to have you on the show, David. So today we're going to be looking at your Iowa plays and some Michigan State plays. Sounds good to me. So, one of the things about Iowa, you started the game off against Iowa with four straight catches on slant routes. Was this all a part of the game plan? Yeah, that's definitely the game plan. Uh, playing a team like Iowa, we know that it would, it would be tough to try to win them when we take the deep shots, so we know that we'll have to take what they give us, and they give up a lot of underneath routes, whether it's slants, uh, forced at speed outs, or anything of that nature. So we just had to be patient, and we knew eventually the big play shots would open up. Well, they eventually start playing this bail technique the entire game. Mm -hmm. And so when they were playing bail technique, when that corner's running backwards, there he's playing more press. But when he's running backwards, that opens up the flat for you, right? Yeah, facts, facts. Just, uh, you know, our coach had a, did a good understanding and made sure that we got on their toes because we knew, like I said, that they were afraid of getting beat deep. And not too many teams, you know, when they play Iowa have this opportunity. But luckily these uh, past mm -hmm. four to five years, we've been able to hit those in. You know, their defensive coordinator has been there forever, so he's accustomed to getting beat, beat by Purdue. So going into this game plan, uh, we knew that we have to be patient at first. So, yeah, like this play right here. And so, you're like, I don't even – is this even a slant? Because you're just coming up here. You're just turning around and nobody's on you, right? Yeah, it's a slant, but uh, we just had to under, understand that it was third and 13, so – him at the defensive back knows that like a slant really can't beat him because mm -hmm. he has help from uh, you know the linebackers and stuff like that. But yeah, for me, uh, yeah, it was a slant. Like I'm supposed to keep going in there, but I seen a linebacker in there, and me and our quarterback, we had a good yep. connection, understanding that you know I can <clears throat> I can sit up in there and not you know run the danger is what we call it. What exactly is the danger on here? So is the danger this uh, this linebacker right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I keep running in there like I'm yeah. supposed to, you if know, you keep running in this way, yeah. he's gonna kill you. <laughs> hey, don't look like a happy versus uh, yeah. Notre Dame. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that did not look <laughs> yeah, pleasant at all. So I definitely learned my lesson. So you and Aiden understand that if you see the linebacker, that you're just gonna sit down right here. Yeah. And I he mean, and he knows that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You can see he he's not hesitant about mm -hmm. it. He knows just one, two, three. He sees that linebacker and I'm gonna sit. Is that something that you guys talk about often? Like when you come up, like, I don't know, in the huddle, you're like, hey, if he's I coming, really, I'll, I'll sit in the zone. It's not really often. It's just no. like from preparation. Yeah. So me and Aiden used to meet every Monday and just playing Iowa for these past two years. They're a defense that doesn't change what they do. So we know we know uh, every play what type of defense mm -hmm. that they're going to run. So just understanding that it's third and 13, that they're going to be trying to drop back so they won't get beat deep. Mm -hmm. you know? And he knows that uh, what coverage they're playing, so he knows where the linebackers are going to be at, and he knows that I have a slant that I'm not going to run in there. So mm -hmm. just preparation that we had. Your connection with Aiden, that chemistry, how long did that chemistry take to build? Especially because, you know, you played with Plummer, too. Yeah. They switched out often. We built the chemistry actually my freshman year, so it's been about three years strong. Mm -hmm. uh, coming in, I was a highly recruited uh, four-star wide receiver, and... I really I didn't have trouble running the playbook, but I needed some assistance. So I used to mm -hmm. be with uh, him and uh, Jack Plummer also. And even on the field when I needed plays, you know, I look at Aiden, he'll tell me what to do. So that just built that connection. And when he had the opportunity to start uh, my freshman year versus Wisconsin, he ended up mm -hmm. coming in versus Nebraska, actually. And yeah. I think you know, I remember that. connection that. just, you know, built strong since. And then, even though we had a short season, that following season, that sophomore mm -hmm. year, uh, you know, he played a few games. Unfortunately, he got hurt, but yeah. our connection has always been strong. Now, I think that leads perfectly into this one, the 60-yard slam. <clears throat> because now, Iowa's been playing this cover three. Yeah. Now they're in man, mm -hmm. right? They're all manned up. You're manned up down here. Boom, 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 boom. And this concept's basically you're running a shallow cross, yeah. and then you get wide open. Can you just kind of explain, like, the concept and how and why this works? Yeah, so uh, this play was called... Uh, X Patriot. X Patriot. So I'm the X receiver right now, and mm -hmm. I have a, a drive route. You call it a drive? Yeah, a drive route. Okay. And we get, it really depends on since it's man to man coverage, you just try to beat them and run as fast as you can. But if it was zone coverage, like I would have the opportunity to sit up 
uh, opposite A gap to A gap to A gap, so I won't run into danger. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the other side, the most inside receiver, he has a three by one, three by one seam, so he'll get to this opposite hash about 16, 18 yards. Can you, would you be able to draw that on my computer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So are all your so is everyone basically on offense? They like everyone that's not the offensive line. They have to be able to read the zone, kind of like a quarterback does. You said that. Like, so like basically all of like the receivers, the tight ends, running backs, yeah. they have to also be able to read the defense like the quarterback to know what to do. In certain situations, uh, this one it, it, you can do this versus zone or man. Yeah. And then this is spring inside and slip up the seam also. Mm -hmm. Zone or man. Yep. So go. And he has a. So basically, you just. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're doing now. But in I, here, I, so those those three uh, receivers on that right side, they have to run those route, either man or zone, like mm -hmm. no matter what. Because even in zone, you know, I wouldn't be open, but that dead route at the top of the screen that I drew, that would be open. Do you remember if this play was called because you knew they would be in man here, like? Yeah, definitely. Cause so. Uh, so you knew. So you expected them to come into man mm -hmm. when this play was called. Yeah, and if they were in zone, that's why you know. Playing with Coach Brown, he's such a you know smart office coordinator and also uh, our receiver coach. He mm -hmm. did a phenomenal job preparing us. So we knew that if it was man, that I would just have to win down here. Mm -hmm. And if it was zone, we'll try to, depending on what zone, so if it's cover three, we're going to hit the second receiver, uh, streaking up the seam. Yep. And then if it's cover two, we'll hit that dig on the outside. Yeah. And then cover yeah. four, we can hit that cross around. So like this play isn't necessarily like specifically designed for you. Like Aiden still man, has to read yeah. read the defense. But in man, he's looking at the. But, he's looking at me. Yeah, and it works perfectly because in man. You know, because they're all in man, they're all coming this way, right? Yeah. And then. It's just me on. Once you beat your man. Back, yeah. It's wraps. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's like, you're gone. Yeah. Are is there like a stiff arm drill or something that you do like? No, it's not no, a it drill. It's just, like, just something I've been doing since a kid. You do, yeah. yeah since a kid, just been just, a just, 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 I think that really demonstrates your strength, too, because you're such a strong, strong receiver. Like, how much does your strength help you, would you say, opposed to, like, a weaker receiver? I don't know. Off the line, you know, being able to just, like, bully most guys, or even at the top of the row where I have to sit at the top and DBs on my head, I can be able to throw them by, you know, unlike mm -hmm. smaller receivers who don't have the same strength as me, they'll... They'll struggle in those type of situations. All right, so I guess we'll go on to the next play right here. Uh, we've uh, carved them up with slants. Now we're gonna you're gonna run the corner route. Mm -hmm. I think one thing's to note here: you usually are on the outside. You're yeah. the outside receiver, mm -hmm. and now here you're moved into the as a slot. Yeah. What's the difference between the two? Uh, really, based on the concept, and just wanting to be able to give me the ball. And just trying to have the defense, you know, mixed up because instead of just me being on the outside and we having three receivers, now we have two receivers, two tight ends, so we can run the ball. You know, we have a better chance to get more yards in the run game, and that's what we're trying to give the illusion to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had a this game we was running the ball pretty decent, so they was afraid of both. And you know, we got Jackson Anthem in the backfield, so you got to watch out from him. Oh yeah. Out of the back I didn't even I didn't even notice Jackson yeah. in the backfield right there. <laughs> you got to watch him sneak it out of the back. Uh, mm -hmm for catching the ball. Yeah, me being in a slot, uh, so originally we run like double post. And versus Iowa, uh, since they run a cover five scheme, so it's cover four on, on my side, so that safety will have me. Oh, so he's playing cover four, not cover three this time. Yeah, he's playing cover okay. four, it's all in that safety. So in that corner, he basically locked up with that outside receiver, uh, man and step shallow. So anything deep, he has it. Um, mm. I think this corner's playing the, the half, right? That they're playing a uh, cover two on that side. Yeah. So, but so this dude has the half. Yeah, and he has. He, it. they have the quarters. Yeah. So it's and not he three. Has the mm -hmm. the two corner has the flats. So this safety up at the top, he has the deep halves. And you see how he's number four turns to me. He's thinking that it's it's double post. Oh, you're right. So we fake the post and then run a corner out, or we call it a speed up. So what exactly is the read here? What is it? What is Aiden reading? So understanding that that's that's how the defense is. He's looking at me like automatically, but he's always trying to read the defense to you know maneuver the safeties using with his eyes. Mm -hmm. Because if that linebacker like backs up on the meeting, he can just throw it to Payne, and 
since it's cover four, you know, we obviously read the first post first, so it'd be first yep. post to the outside receiver to me to the flats. Okay. So he'll have time to see he's looking at the first post, but he yep. sees their corner. I mean, a uh, uh, linebacker drops down, so he knows I'm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. Quarterbacks go through a lot. You know, that's okay. why I appreciate them. Do you prefer to play in the slot? I really don't have no preference. You know, I'm obviously more comfortable playing outside, but that's yeah. you know what I played the majority of my career here at Purdue. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I was in the slot, you know, I feel comfortable with it, being able to get up different matchups. All right, this is probably my favorite play. <clears throat> so play action. We're gonna have. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, isn't this a dig? I don't know what you guys call it. Like a deep end. Yeah. And then you're running the corner. Post. And base or the post. Sorry. Yeah, you're running the post. <clears throat> and then you're basically exploiting this safety because not only are you going to get him to step up with the play action, right? But also he has to respect this dig backside. You know, what's the emotion going through your head right there? You make that huge catch. Oh, this is, hand in the yeah, air. I was excited. Yeah? Yeah, just keeping it going uh, after having a... I think we just scored like earlier this, early this place. I mean, early that drive, so... Just being able to keep the momentum. Uh, that was a tough little catch, so I was definitely happy that I reeled that one in. That is so uh, tough. In practice, like previous that week, like, I was dropping a lot of stuff. Really? It is uncharacteristic of me. Uh, so to be able to, you know, put that behind me and come out of the game and I did, uh, I'm definitely proud of myself. That's fascinating to hear that you were dropping it, like yeah, it dropping crazy. Crazy. passes. Crazy. Like, what was it going like? I was just pressing too much. Like, understanding that, that my first two years, you know, my first year I had 197. Uh, a touchdown. Second year, I had one twenty-one and three touchdowns. So mm -hmm. I'm like, dang! For two straight years, I've been killing them. Like, is it gonna keep going? Yeah. So you know, good thing it did. It was a great team win. Uh, going on the road, being able to beat them in their own house, and it's tough to be Iowa at Iowa. Like they fans, they fans are probably the, one of the, one of the best fans of fans in the Big Ten. So, but you were you were kind of saying like you were kind of in your own head. Yeah, definitely. You're, you're in your own head. You're thinking too hard about it. Yeah. Coach Brown had to pull me to the side and just told me to relax. Right. You're just torching this poor dude all game. Do you know that dude, number eight? Uh, I don't know him personally. I had a friend. I got a few friends that play for Iowa, so they know him, but I don't know him personally. No. What was the scouting report on that dude? It wasn't really physical. Uh, he was lengthy, though. You know, he's, a, he's an athlete, mm -hmm. but, you know, we can beat him over the top. We just got to make those contested catches yeah. those need to be. So, you just beat him deep. Now he's really scared of you. Now you're gonna... <sighs> Any reaction to that? Yeah, so like you said, he, he's he's tired of getting beaten deep, so he's on his toes. Mm -hmm. You know, once you get to a certain, certain landmark, you know, the DB's thinking fade, 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 so you just hold that up long as possible then just you know try to s snap down as subtly as you can mm -hmm. you know Aiden put it right on me so I had some opportunity to get some uh, yards after the catch what else would you say the keys are to running a good curl route uh just selling vertical as hard as you can dropping your hips at the top of the route so you don't get stuck you can kind of see you drop your hips because you can see your pad level kind of go down yeah. a little bit how do you sell vertical like obviously there's more than just running straight I think right. your eyes, or I mean, your it eyes. depends, because you can put your head down, but everybody knows like, when you put your head down, that yep. you're trying to run as fast as you can just to get up out of there. Mm -hmm. I mean, like as a kid, you think you run faster with your head down. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, just selling vertical. I think DBs don't like like when you, like, it may sound a little weird, but like look in their eyes. Like, yeah, they don't around. like that? Yeah, no. It makes them uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable, you know. Yeah. Uh, one of my, Rondell Moore, he told me that if you just, you know, look really? at Really? He yeah. taught you that? If you look at them in their eyes, they're, they don't know which way you're going to go because you're mm -hmm. just looking dead at them and you just put them all of a sudden move. So I think that's one way to push vertical or one or two ways to keep it, either keeping your head down mm -hmm. and just try to be violent or just look at them in his eyes like I'm about to run past you and just snap it off. Could you tell that like this corner was kind of getting scared of you now? I knew before the game. <laughs> <laughs> you knew before the game. <laughs> Or all corners scared of you. Yeah, I knew before the game. They all better be scared of you. The fact that he's like falling down, like that's just nasty. Well, this is the most nasty one. This is just unfair. Also, just perfect ball. Yeah, that was a great ball, man. Uh, so this is a sluggo, right? You call mm -hmm. this a sluggo? Yeah, a sluggo. 
So you uh, so normally on a sluggo, do you usually have this pump fake by Aiden or the quarterback? Because he gives you the pump on the sluggo. Yeah, he gives yeah, you yeah, the pump yeah. on the slant. Yeah, yeah. And then if, you break. Because if he's like he's playing off. Yep. He gonna go he's still for playing off. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. gonna go for that pump to try to jump on it. Oh yeah, he was he was going for yeah, it. Yeah, he was going. He thought he had oh, a yeah. pick. Yeah, right over his head. But not that. Yeah, we practiced that. I mean, the whole, the the game. As you can see in the game, we just kept running slants, kept running slants. Yeah. So he's going to bite. He's trying to make a play. You know, it's only 17 7. He get a pick. They go down, score. It's 14 17. So he's just trying to be a playmaker. But Thanks so much, David, for coming on our show. We wish you the best of luck in your NFL draft process. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you for inviting me to be on your show. Everyone, make sure, like, comment. Uh, and also make sure that you follow David on all his socials. We'll leave that in the description of the video. And yeah, yep. thanks, David. No problem, be Bill. Out. Come back home, number three, Michigan State. So you, you come off beating number two, Iowa. I think that's the highlight of the year. What do you yeah, say? I think so too. It's definitely, my, definitely my favorite play. Somebody's <sighs> just trying to come and take off your head. <laughs> <laughs> How did you stay back?